Hello, this is a quick follow-up to one of my previous videos regarding this great piece of equipment from Agilent. This is a system DC power supply model 6612C. In the previous video I repaired the thing and I showed what it can do. Um, and I really like the thing the resolution and accuracy on the display uh, before I used to use such power supply and I know it's not a fair comparison uh, this is a very simple lab supply not programmable and what's annoying about it is the resolution on those uh, displays uh, up to 0.1 volt and up to tens of milliamps if you need more resolution you need to hook up external meter and really gently adjust those knobs so there are a couple of things still I don't like about this Agilent supply one is noise uh, the fan is running rather loud uh, I guess it's a trade-off for compactness of the thing another thing I don't like is the lack of information on the display perhaps it was not a bad display for the time but all we can see is uh, measured voltage and current and we have to remember what the set voltage and current was for example now the output is off and we just don't know if we press output on what we will get unless you remember so let's recall the voltage we can press voltage and see the setting it is set to zero right now uh, let's set it to five for example and then we press enter and it disappears so it's back to the measurement again so you have to remember what what will happen if we enable the output the current is set to default right now which is 10 percent of the rated output if we go back to meter and again you have to remember the current setting so i wanted to try communicating with the thing from the computer uh, this power supply has a GPIB port and RS-232 port GPIB is a little pain uh, it needs special expensive adapter and special software RS-232 is a little easier and that's what I want to try uh, what ingredients do we need for this? Well, first of all, we need uh, a cable like this. This is a USB to serial adapter. When you plug it into the USB, uh, it will show up as the next available communication port, serial port in your system, whatever it is. If it's a Windows system, I suppose it's going to be next COM port, like COM, COM1, let's say, if you didn't have any at all so far. Or maybe COM3. I use Ubuntu Linux. I, in, in that system it will show up as slash dev slash USB with the next number. Uh, what else we need? We need one of these null modem adapters which is mail to mail or it can look like this I have a look I have a couple of them so mail to mail again so let's hook it up and play with it here I wrote a little piece of code in Python language using GTK graphics library oh, let me start it 
There you go. Here's the little window showing the information about the power supply. Let me zoom in. All right, so that's really simple for now. Uh, first, I printed the uh, ID of the instrument here in version. That's done only once. Uh, and then there are five fields which are updated every so often. Um, so first two are set voltage and current. And as you can see, I set it to five volts before and this default current. Uh, and here is the meter and the status of the output off and off or on. And look at the resolution here. How many digits do we have? Uh, let's try a little experiment. Let me go back to the instrument. Uh, as you can see, when communication is going on, the display is blinking, which is a little annoying. But perhaps not a big deal, especially if that computer interface could do uh, all, you, all you need to control the power supply. Now let's try to do this. Uh, let me set voltage to 1, 2, point three four five six seven eight nine and that is the limit we cannot put in any more digits and then let's see how many of them take effect so i press enter uh, let's enable the output okay we can see five digits here in the display now let's go back to the computer. Uh, what do we see here? Here we see six digits. So that digit eight after seven, that it, it doesn't show up here. So let's try a lower range. Set voltage. This time I'll try one point two three four five six seven eight nine. I press enter, and now we see four digits for the voltage on the display. And let's go back to the computer. So we still see six digits here. So clearly this is not uh, an industrial strength piece of code. Uh, many things can be improved here. It's just a quick and dirty prototype. Uh, it needs a menu to set communication port parameters. Uh, it can show over voltage and over current protection. And maybe some other things. It can do data logging, perhaps. Uh, it can have a little graph with the capability to save it to a file. Things like that. Anyway, I wanted to show what I got so far. Uh, I uploaded this piece of code to GitHub. And I will put the link below this video. I will also put the link to my previous video and thanks for watching, goodbye.